Hey, my loves. Uh, let's talk about change again because I just think change is so critical in terms of being able to create the desired results in your life that you want and being unapologetic about it. So this morning, I normally wake up at 6.20 a.m. and uh, I get change, I go downstairs, the basement, hubby is usually there already. Hey, Victor. And we're working out together and our kids come join us like 15 minutes later. Um, and this morning, I couldn't sleep in. I woke up at 5.15, 5.30ish, went downstairs and Something I, I just, I've been doing HIIT workouts. I follow Body Rock YouTube workouts, which are usually like 15 minutes, if that, um, videos. And then I play them usually twice. And that's my workout. So lots of HIIT, body weight workouts, light workouts. And that's kept my, hey Mel, that's kept my um, cardio up. And that's kept me in somewhat of toned condition. But I noticed lately um, I saw a picture of me recently, and this is going to sound superficial, and I'm okay with that, <laughs> because, and this might seem at first out of alignment, uh, because I used to specialize in body image, so I love my body. I, I'm going to put it this way. I love my body. I love it from the inside out. I love myself no matter what shape or size or weight I'm at. But let's face it, there absolutely is um, a preferred way in how I would love my body to function in terms of energy, in terms of digestion, um, and in terms of how I look. And so when I saw this picture recently, I'm like, oh, wow, my muscle definition is like going away. I love muscle. I love looking um, toned and defined. And when I was looking at this picture, I'm like, oh gosh, like, wow, I'm really holding a lot of water weight. And so taking accountability, I do eat quite healthy. I am mindful about what I eat, um, but I'm not rigid. And when I used to specialize in helping people with body image issues, with um, the psychology of eating, so your mindset around food, because if you, don't, you've, if you know, um, if, for those of you who are new to me, I used to struggle a lot in food and body image, and those are just doorways into deeper aspects of ourselves, i.e. our self-worth. And when you get past all that superficial stuff, now it comes down to approaching life with love from a place of I am enough, I am worthy. And for myself, I've shifted that. So on the outside, it may look like I eat very similar to how I ate when I was bodybuilding. I'm just not as, but the mindset is I'm not rigid. I'm not in this place of fear. I'm not in this place of counting calories. I'm not in this place of, oh my God, um, if, I, if I gain weight, that's the end of my life. Um, that's the end of the world because that's how I used to operate. And it was, all I could think about was how many calories do I eat? Um, what happens if I get off track? Then I would punish, I would feel guilty if I binge ate and then I would punish myself by over-exercising. That was my form of purging. And so moving that and healing with my, uh, healing myself to moving, I there's a pendulum. So it's from that, what I just described. And then we move over to this place where it's like you're rebelling against a dieting mentality. So this is when you're in process of letting go, surrendering, allowing yourself to eat foods that you haven't ate um, in a long time or that you feel guilty about eating. And it's allowing yourself to eat mindfully incorporating balance into your life. Now over here, you might be, um, let's say overeating on foods that you didn't allow yourself to eat with permission, without guilt. And eventually we wanna to get to the middle where the pendulum is swinging because it's not about rigidity, it's about matter, moderation balance and um, moderation balance and being able to re, being, be flexible in your way of how you eat.
So I always talk about eating in alignment of your highest purpose. So for me, I notice, uh, truth be told, and I think I had shared this um, in a, a month ago um, in a Facebook Live about how my body tends to hold on to a lot of water weight, um, especially when I'm stressed. I may not be consciously stressed, but um, I'm a busy woman. <laughs> I like to use the word abundant because I'm very conscious about all the choices I make in my life, most of them. Um, and so because I am multi-passionate, I run um, many different pillars in my business, there is stress. I'm not immune to it. I am human. And so the way my body holds on to stress is by holding on to lots of water. So sometimes I do look like I'm like four months, five months pregnant, and it's frustrating. And so I've decided to really make it a goal to take supplements. I just got introduced to Thrive not too long ago with my from my girlfriend, um, uh, Linda. And I really love it. It's really easy. It's the supplement. Um, and it really helps me lower my cortisol levels. It really helps me. Um, and I'm not, I'm not like marketing this. Like it, if you want to try it, cool. If not, whatever. But for me, the, the goal is to um, really lower my cortisol levels and get my body balanced. So taking magnesium would be helpful as well. Um, and just really helping my body have a better digestive system. I think that's the biggest thing because even Dan and I were talking, we're like, man, it's so frustrating that, you know, we eat really healthy and yet both of us tend to bloat quite easily. So we're like, hmm, what's that all about? So likely stress. Um, <laughs> so getting my stress levels, even though consciously I know all these tools to manage my stress, my body holds on. So being able to take supplements to support my immune system and have my body function well is awesome. So on a, um, now that it's spring out, I can't freaking wait. I can't wait to get running out in the river valley. I wanna change things up. So I started, um, I have an incline treadmill downstairs and it's really cool, it, like mimics all these different hikes from around the world. So um, I've been running a little bit more today for the first time in a long time. I started doing a heavier, um, bodybuilding weight workout for my shoulders. I really want to get more defined overall and lean overall, but like really get my shoulders um, back to being more defined. And I love shoulder workouts. They make me so happy. I love heavy workouts and it's been a while since I've done heavy workouts. So changing it up is great. And this is another way in how you could start to embrace change. If you struggle with change, find a way in where it feels easy, wherever that is. And so sometimes it's about the physical change or like if you drive the same way to work every single day, take a different routine. If you um, go for walks, check out a new neighborhood. Um, if you have kids and you take them to a park, go to a park you've never been to before together. Go try new activities. Do something where it's like being um, creative and spontaneous with your ideas of how you can start to embrace change. Because when you do that, then you realize, okay, this isn't bad. I can embrace change. We all can. And when you start somewhere that feels easy, then that can you can learn something about that. You can have the confidence in what you can change and then start to apply it in areas where you're struggling more with change. And this is gonna start shifting your mindset uh, when you start with easy and you apply and generalize it to uh, things that are a little bit more harder. So I'm here to support you if you want some coaching support in your mindset shifts, in your, um, and having accountability, because let's face it, we could create these changes, we could do these things, we can start them, we all have good intentions, but the real human issue happens because, like, because we just, our old habits are way stronger than, um, and it's easier to stay in our comfort zone, than when we're uh, making new changes and having those stick. So 
I love helping people be accountable. I love helping people shift their unconscious beliefs by and matching it with their conscious beliefs. That is a freaking gift of mine. It is my jam. I get so gasmic around it. Um, yeah, let's create some magic together. I'll drop a link below if you are interested in ready to dive in deeper and working with me. All right, talk to you guys later.